straight. Is that yeah, bad? and you're not allowed to walk around with an IV drip, and you only get one liver, two kidneys, yada yada. Yeah. Is that bad? Enough about life. <laughs> what are we reviewing? No, you. Okay. No, you. All right. Sorry to get in your zone. <laughs> uh, this would be Upheaval IPA. It's a Northwest style India Pale Ale, brewed by Widmer's Brewing Widmer Brothers Brewing Company in I believe it's Portland, Oregon. Seven percent alcohol. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty on par with mm-hmm. the IPA. Uh, IPA uh, Upheaval IPA unleashes a huge hop flavor and aroma with serious bitterness and a balanced finish. I'm probably not gonna like this. Hazy and bold, upheaval is left unfiltered for the full IPA experience, so it's going to be pulpy. Full IPA, and some right. pulp. I have to tell you, though, uh, the more we've been doing this and the more different IPAs I've tried, I would say, because I always thought I didn't like IPAs, I'd say I'm almost 50-50 now with uh, the porters and stouts uh, and, and the amount of IPAs I've been liking I've the IPAs I like. more. I don't know if it's because it's the end of summer in Oregon and they just go down easy what it is but oh, oh you did it oh no i tasted it i bet so most of that's in my lap is that the best way to do it <laughs> and lap it up like a dog <laughs> i fear i try that out mike's outfit's in upheaval <laughs> <laughs> it's scary that we're sober right now no kidding that's the problem Wow, that smells it's got, a nice, it's got a nice bouquet on it. Yeah, and it, I mean, it's a little pulpy, but there's not like chunks of what the fuck is that floating in it, which is normally what gets me at the... Is that a backside, backhand? Back, backhand brewery? Is that one? Is that backside, a thing? Backside, backside. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Remember the backside? Yeah. Sorry, OSP, just yes. not for us. Uh, okay. Dive in. What do you think? Get your beak wet. I'm just going to drink mine out of your beer. It's bitter. <laughs> it's bitter. Is it bitter? It's bitter. All right. Here we go. It smells like apple juice. Ooh, I like that. It does smell good. Mm-hmm. It it's almost. Like... It's almost like if they made a light version of that, I would like it even more. It's like the concentrate <laughs> with how much yeah. it grabs your taste buds. But, yeah, I like it. That's not bad at all. So, like a salute the sun. Yeah, salute the sun, yeah. Not as aggressive, but... Yeah, but still, still has that overwhelmingly... Yeah, I don't mind a bite. ...delicious taste. Yeah, well... I don't know, man. It, it's so... It's not bad. Up front, it's a lot. But the aftertaste is delicious to me. That's what that's what I like. The As the flavor dissipates a little bit, it's yeah. not bad. Touche. 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 Threw the word, the word dissipate in there. Dissipate. It was on my new word calendar that mm. gives you new words to use every day. Let me know when you get the Twitter painted. <laughs> Twitter painted? Mm-hmm. I haven't heard of that one. What does that mean? I don't know. It's I think it's when you do a speedball. Speed, oh, I love and speedball. You and you can't come down? It's yeah. It's Twitter painted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't love a good speedball? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yahtzee. Oh. Okay. Could run a marathon in an hour and a half. Yeah. Well, Widmer Brothers, what do we know about them? Do you know anything about the brewery? It's in Portland. And they're brothers. <laughs> <laughs> are they still brothers? Are they still alive? Is I, they're made Still the founders? 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 Did uh, somebody founders. buy them out? I don't think so. All right. I know so they're the one of the, the, at one point they were the largest brewery in Oregon, I believe, and they were like a top five or ten brewery in the country. So I found that hazy IPA seemed to be my thing. Did you say top three in the country? No. Oh, top ten. Okay. Uh, five, I was going to say. At one point. I'm I mean, not saying right now. At the very top, you got Corona, one. <laughs> that was cute. still light. <laughs> Keystone, bring that fucking ad campaign back. I know. Keystone, what are you Miss doing? Sergeant Keystone. God, what is that poor actor who's going to be forever, forever typed? He has got a pigeonhole into Keystone. Yeah, and at least like w- when you ruin somebody's life, like the progressive chick, she's still doing the commercials yeah. ten years later and getting yeah. paid. That guy now, what's he going to do? She Joker branched seven? out in a few shows too, not like a full time. It was like a guest appearance. Appearance. They, that guy's only chance is. 
is the um, Joder 8 on Crackle 19. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> so, uh, Joe Dirt, they did a new one, Joe Dirt 2, right? Mm -hmm. But it was uh, Crackle exclusive, meaning if you have Roku, if you have an Xbox, something like that, it is an app kind of like Netflix, but free that you can download. And so he did Joe Dirt 2 specifically for that app. So it was like straight to app, not even straight to DVD. Sadly, you know I, think I mean? saw the movie. Did you? It wasn't bad. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, nowhere near the first one, and you kind of want them to leave alone your your childhood. But just, some of these you gotta leave alone. Yeah, Dumb and Dumber. They're and they're talking about what was the newest one they're talking about redoing? Goonies one. Yeah. Uh, please don't. But they're. It doesn't sound like they're any of the original cast back. <laughs> no, the the big hang up is Corey Feldman. <coughs> uh, you know, because he's got so much going on. No, I, 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 from what I read, I thought I read the other couple months ago that they're just going to go with a new cast. Yeah, that's why they were talking about doing a reboot instead of bringing in doing a second one. Are they going to put it in the 1980s cast. again? Or, or is it going to be modern? That's a good question. I, I would there, hope There's more. a lot more hipsters. If you're going to redo it, days. here's how you do it. Turn it into a series on Netflix and have the people from, uh, what's that show? Uh, their big show on Netflix. On Netflix? Yeah. Shameless? The Alien one, Upside Down World. Oh, uh, uh, Stranger Things? Thank you. Have the Stranger Things directors redo it uh, and have it be like a 10-part series like that instead of one new movie where you do the exact same scenes with the new cast and like the PG version of it because you can't get away with having the fat kid jiggle his belly. That's fat shaming. <laughs> you can't pick on the Asian kid for being Asian. That's racist. All the, all the things you love about that movie. You can't have kids playing with a, a penis that fell off of a broken statue <laughs> nowadays. You know what I mean? You can't Why? get away with any of that. A good kid and penis joke is fun. That's right. That's what the 80s were good for. Kids and penises. <sighs> I miss the 80s. Remember E.T. and Pizza Hut? Oh my goodness. And Reese's e. Pieces? E. Remember that drunk dog spot or whatever his name was for the Budweiser commercials? Yes. <laughs> a lot, again, things you probably couldn't do anymore. No. Can you imagine trying to get that uh, El Choco Loco Chihuahua dog from... El Choco Loco? Yeah. What, what Chocolate? Was his, what was his? That was a beautiful Chupitas? movie. What was he selling? You mean for Taco Bell? Yeah. Yo, Yo Taco, Taco, Taco Bell. Bell, that dog. Imagine getting him wasted now. Yo, Chocolate? Couldn't do it. Chocolate. How do you say that? Chocolat. I don't know. Chocolat. I don't even know what you're talking about right now. Chupacabras? The movie, Chocolat. That's a movie? Yes. I don't get the it Lifetime wasn't Channel. About, spoiler, it wasn't about chocolate. I don't get the Lifetime Channel, Michael. You're lucky. Okay, sorry, Widmer Brothers. We'll yes. get back to your beer. What's your review? What's your uh, taste? The whole review? Taste. <laughs> We're going to taste girl. first. I'm going to give it, for my palate, 6.5. To a seven, uh, I wish I could. Wait, what? That's I, not even a score. <laughs> what do you mean six point? It's a range of scores. Yeah, well, where's it at? A seven. It's closer to the seven. We're going to be specific. Uh, I wish I could give the aftertaste. Good grief! Did it's you, are you doing rating. common core math right now? Yes. I don't even know what that means. My last math class was freshman year, and my football coach was the teacher, so I didn't have to do any of math. Are you? Sim and Cam's coming back. Shouts out to uh, to Mr. Crosley yeah. for uh, getting me hooked on creatine. Mitch. Um, <laughs> Muscledog.com. And, and the lovely yellow bombers. Yeah. I don't know what those things were. Yeah. But you take my love and we'd eat them. That's not true. It might be. Okay, so I'm going to go seven <clears throat> on flavor. Like I said, I wish I could give the aftertaste its own rating because I would go much higher. Yeah. Uh, it's just that initial is a lot, lot, lot to deal with. <clears throat> I'm going to go 6.9, and you know why. It's just that undercut me, you son of a bitch. Yep. 69. Way to flip it on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 9.6. Final answer. Okay. All right. I'm going to get a little else? swill here. No, give it yeah. swingability. You still got some Swingability left. is nil. You cannot chug I this beer. If you can, you're a bigger man than me, and you probably have chest hair. Mm. Mm. Maybe you can grow a beard, too. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're getting specific about something. Ah, uh, yeah, it's um. <laughs> Don't mind the baby screaming mm, in the background. Either. Yeah, we're totally not the ones. Yeah, they watch themselves. In charge right now. They watch yeah, themselves. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I down, kid. 
No child services. Seriously, there's a nanny. Don't worry. Yes. Ah, a manny, actually. A manny, yes. Yes, and his name happens to be Manny. Yeah, that's right. And he is here on a work visa, so don't worry. He is six foot nine, and he wears high heels. So if you try to come at me, you're gonna get the whole trans community up your a hole. Definitely don't. Don't, don't, don't look into our backstory at all. No. Ever. Would you give on swingability? I said nil. Zero. A zero? No, you, you can swig it. It's just... Um, 2.3. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna get, I would second that. Yeah, it's real low. All right, marketing. <laughs> marketing. Uh, four. A four. Why For this particular four. bottle. Uh, one, I get that this is a classic brand, right? It's well, been around for a while. How all their bottles look. Right, I get it. It's just, uh, you know, it's okay to update. <laughs> It really is. Uh, the two shades of green that are practically identical, the drawn on hop, and yeah, none of it stands out to me whatsoever. I, so you think they should update? Yeah, the kind W like, even looks like I made that with clip art. Kind of like being like a Cowboys fan, it's probably time to quit living in the 90s. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But we got Dak now. And Witten's still there. We got a chance. He came back to save that back. franchise. A He's tight like, end came back to save a franchise. That's right. Witten was like, you know what? Uh, you guys are nowhere near a championship this year. I'm going to take the year off. So yeah. I'm going to save my body. Hey, I'm back. You guys back. are you guys reloaded. We're good. I'm done commentating. <laughs> I was curious if Romo was coming back. He wasn't. No. I'm retired. Ah, fuck it. I'll come yeah. back. Screw it. All right. So did you give a swig ability? 2.3? You yeah. did? Um, so marketing. Marketing for four. you. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give it like a... 6.1. Oh, you're a fucking chill for Widmer 6. Brothers. 1. It's not bad. I mean, I'm not like a big Widmer logo fan or Okay, so fan, that's a, that's a D minus, right? So that's that's But you know, you know the brand when you're like scrolling through the, the If you're aisle, from Oregon, you know you the know. Widmer Brothers brand, but it's not I ch I try to go off of what picture this is a shelf full of beers, which one of those is going to jump off the shelf to me is tells me how good your marketing is. What does that do for you? <laughs> yeah, all you have to do is see the W. You know. All right. You know. You say so. The W is all you need. Didn't work out for Nipsey Hustle. No, too soon. No, too soon, Michael. Not white power either. Too soon. Nipsey Hustle. He's a yeah, black guy. Yeah, a good right? Nipsey from Compton. You know your stuff from Slauson, Slauson Boulevard. What's up? Shouts out to Slauson. Thought he's from. Uh, Oh, my it's Compton and Watts. I know it's Compton, but what was the street? I can't remember. Same thing as Deshaun Watts Boulevard. Jackson. Deshaun Jackson's from there too. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Are you surprised? Back with the Eagles, Deshaun Jackson. How many? Ah! How many different wormholes can we go <laughs> off of one Winber Brothers review? It's done. We covered it? Joe Dirt, and we got to be the Guinness. Shout at us, because yeah. I guarantee we're the only person to cover Joe Dirt and Deshaun Jackson and Nipsey Hussle in the same video. I think McNabb's going to start making Chucky Soup commercials again. Kiata, what's his mom even doing these days? I don't know, but she was a fine-looking lady. Speaking of Chunky. Mm -hmm. But in all the right places. That's what I'm saying. Yep. That's right. New England you should have You should have just slapped a pair of Campbell's panties on McNabb's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Camel panties? Yeah, do you, they don't make Campbell's panties. I just wanted to say clam chowder no, right I here. I see what you're saying. Really. I got gotcha. you. You caught up? I got gotcha. you. God, you don't picture the same messed up stuff that I do. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Gosh. That sun's really taking it out of me. When you have to explain a Donovan McNabb's mom's panties joke to Michael, you know he needs coffee. Remember he played for the Redskins? For a minute. I thought he played for a couple of seasons. No, uh, maybe. I think it was a season, maybe a season and a half. Because that was before Jason Campbell. Jason Campbell? See? Jason Campbell in full it all, circle. It all comes back. Uh, I remember as a Raiders fan, he had a good season for us, and I thought, like, why are you guys trying to draft quarterbacks? You got Jason Campbell. Bring back uh, Greg Kowski. Kerry Collins. Who else can we name? It worked. I love when it works out once for a team. Like they brought in the veteran quarterback, Rich Gannon, and he, he gets an MVP at, oh, yeah. at 39 years old. He did old, pretty right? well. So then the Raiders are like, let's do that with every season. Yep. <laughs> and let's Where's bring Benny in Tessa Terry Tessa Collins. Tessa let's bring in. No, what was the. Uh, there was the the Raiders quarterback with the uh, Samoan name, started with a yeah, T. Uh, Tuyasa uh, Sopo. Yeah, Marcus. Marcus. There we go. Yep. References. Widmer Brothers, I hope uh, the people who watch this are football fans too. Because sure there's some Raider that. fans out there. There's got to be. Go Blazers. 
and such. What else? Anything? I don't know if we got to do the overall rating. Oh, overall. 7.3. I said it because it felt good. Okay. It felt right. A C, huh? Well, I'm I, going to go guy. a 6.8. Uh, I like, this is one I would drink again, so that's kind of a harsh rating. I'm not a fan of the yes. marketing. I'm not a fan of the initial taste. Uh, I'm generally not a fan of a, that thick of a IPA, mm -hmm. a little syrupy. Like I said, if you added a little bit of water to that, it would be perfect. Yeah. Next time I'll put a shot of seltzer water in there so it doesn't uh, offend my delicate sensibilities. I feel like if you like cats, you're gonna like this. Oh yeah. Yeah, cat people. Yeah, because it smells like cat urine, is that why? Same consistency? Does or... apple smell like cat urine? Well, fermented apples? depends on your cat. My cat's vegan, so. <laughs> is that why it looks like it's dead? <laughs> He's not it's like Skeletor. dead. He looks like Skeletor. He doesn't like hurting animals. He's eating your weather, he's weather stripping because you're not feeding him real food. He's eating the what? He's not eating the weather stripping. Yeah, he's clawing okay. at it to let us know it's raining outside. Yeah. And let you know, I want some meat, son. He's like the weatherman, like, hey guys, it's <laughs> fucking raining. <laughs> let me in. I'm tired of this. All right, Widmer brothers, do better. Sorry. Peace out. Hey, Peace out.